You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about the uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day editions of WWE programming. Yes, you sound tho, th- tho, tho. Th- so enthusiastic th- about that. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't sure what I was going to say going into it, so I kind of Fair just, enough. Just winging it, huh? More or less. Just, well, I mean, that's uh, it's kind of what they did the last couple of weeks. Wow. I mean, I, I honestly thought the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day shows were better than these. Actually, SmackDown was pretty good this week. Yeah, SmackDown was great this week. Um, but I thought Raw was better last week. Um, it. I enjoyed the Miracle on 30. Fourth Street. Yeah, fight. it was a lot more gimmicky. Yeah, um, but it worked. True. I feel like because you know Elias got the bowling ball and everything. I was gonna say at the same time it was Elias versus Lashley for it's like true. the eight million. But fight. it was different. Like their ladder match wasn't that great because it was pretty short though too. It's true. It was also on the pre-show. It was so where it deserved to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, honestly, the most important thing that came out of this week is. Uh, the announcement of AEW. Yeah. Well, that had nothing to do with Raw or SmackDown. Though. It didn't, but it's going to change the wrestling world if it comes to fruition. Well, I would imagine at this point there's no way they're not going to, like... Well, I mean, a uh, television show and stuff like that. Because I... there was rumors mm-hmm. that they... Well, I guess it wasn't really a rumor. It's all public knowledge that they had uh, trademark a Tuesday night show called Tuesday Night Dynamite. So... Now, a lot of people are speculating at this point, what what television network are they possibly going to get on? And somebody brought this up. Dynamite, TNT. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would be pretty big if they went, got a primetime TV deal with TNT, a huge network. That's true. I don't know if TNT is as big as USA. but No, but I mean, it would definitely... Uh, Bring back some nostalgia, at least. But, like, it's going to be WCW. I mean, I wouldn't go to that extent. It's not like a company is just going to all of a sudden come up and become competition right away. There's no reason why they can't, though. That's the funny part. It's true. Because they have proven that, you know, the, the I guess the appeal is there. Yeah, I mean, they didn't even amount... Uh, amount. Jeez, I'm terrible tonight. It's all right. They didn't announce a match card, and they sold out all in. Yeah, that was because it. of how big of a deal it was. Right. Um, and they probably could have sold a lot more tickets, but the venue was only so big. Right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, they also have you know pro wrestling tees backing them, so they have merchandise covered. They don't have to worry about that. Yeah, they've had that the whole time. Right. But they did utilize Ring of Honor and New Japan talent for the show. Well, there's so, no you reason know. why they can't still do that. Though. Right. But I mean, here here's the honest, honestly biggest thing: is is it going to be exclusive talent, and will they be able to make a living from wrestling for for that promotion? Because out, I mean, New Japan obviously not an American company, mm-hmm. but you have MLW, you have Impact, where guys are constantly working the indies. There's no one that's really working those promotions that are able to make a living wage. You mean just income? For yeah, just one... working. Right. Exactly. All right. Well, are you suggesting that you think that people who wrestle for um, AEW are just going to be in AEW, I'd like s- the WWE? Well, I, don't, I think you'll have talent that'll move, you know, in and out. Yeah, but... because Ring of Honor and New Japan all have people that go all over the place. Uh, I think Ring of Honor is now signing a lot of exclusive talent. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think there was a lot of talent that was signed exclusively. Um, because I mean, that's that's a big appeal, too, though. If you only are able to see talent in one promotion, yeah, you're gonna you know, I mean, that's WWE. You know? mm-hmm. It's the only place you can see these guys wrestle, so you're going to tune in. Yeah. I true. mean, if you're able to see them on MLW, on Impact, on all these other shows, you know, it doesn't make this it's company that much. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I know Cody had thrown this out there a while back, but talking about, you know, providing health care and stuff like that, I mean, that would... Well, that's a, that, yeah. that's the biggest, I guess, issue... For freelance, because they're freelance workers, technically, yeah. 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 Um, but, I mean, they have big money behind them. Uh, pretty funny, though, that Vince McMahon is moving into football, and we have a football owner, because I guess the ja- yeah, Jaguars... Yeah, supposedly the Jaguars owner is interested in the Well, company. apparently he, I guess, uh, 
I guess he's t the president of the company. I, th I think that's what was revealed. Oh, and Cody of, is going to be the, the executive president or something oh, okay. like that. Yeah, executive vice president, I think, was his title. Mm -hmm. But it, it it could change the, the wrestling landscape today and make uh, WWE no longer rest on their lore, you know? I mean... I don't think you're going to get... Um, not, not that they're not going to be competition. I don't think WWE was ever really going to treat them as such. Yeah. Until the day that it's too late. Right. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean... There's talk of a lot of people not being completely happy with WWE. They really have an outlet now if this does come yeah. to be. Um, but just, like I said, it was just funny that Vince started focusing on the XFL, and if something like this comes along and all of a sudden changes his plans, we're all going to be like, son of a bitch. He had one foot out the door. Now he's back in. Um, I don't necessarily... I think Vince probably is aware of the fact that Triple H is better suited to be doing this stuff anyway. So I think he might literally just be waiting. For I don't know. That. I mean, the fact that we heard that he had rewrote shows entirely earlier in the month, you know? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It, it, it's so hard to say. We're just two idiots speculating on things we've read on the internet. We certainly don't know what we're talking Ooh, about. We do not. Um, But yeah, it. hopefully it does well. And hopefully, obviously they have a plan. Yeah. But I mean, if somebody jumps into that Tuesday night spot that SmackDown was occupying for, what, the last two years? Mm -hmm. I mean, you already have people that are looking for, you know? That's true. Um, because that Friday night slot is just... It's not good. It's not good, because yeah. I, I know I'm probably not going to tune in on a weekly basis yeah. to it. And it, it kind of throws off everything, because they're so used to having it like even well, like with the pay-per-view Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. and that's it. And like NXT on Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, now you have to do Monday and then Wednesday and then Friday. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of hard to I don't know, structure and for like us where we're trying to do both at the same time. Right. And well, now Friday has become more wrestling heavy. If When SmackDown moves to Friday, Impact just moved to Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, New Japan is on Friday on Access TV. You have MLW on Friday, and then yeah, so it's, everything's on the Friday night block now. I, f I feel like Impact might move when no, nope, they're on at 10 p.m. Oh, so after so Smackdown's that's over. I think that's what they're trying to do. prepare for. Except for the fact that they are now on a network that is only carried in 40 million homes. So <laughs> we shall see. Very long. All right, I guess let's talk about. WWE. All right. Cage match to open Raw. Uh-huh. Drew McIntyre, Dolph Ziggler. Should be the end of the feud. I would imagine is what so. Drew had said, pretty much. This is it. Yeah. I'm done with you. Yeah. Um, they put on a good match. Good way to open the show. Yeah. Right to business. No no nonsense, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, And then Drew just completely murders Dolph. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he beat the crap out of him. But, you know, Dolph did his job. It's true. That's really all that you can ask of him. Mm -hmm. No reason for him to go over in this. Uh, no, 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 swag. no, no. And Drew, then, Drew is the up and coming talent. Yeah. What he he beat him with? What two uh, Claymore kicks? Right. I, but think, I think he hit one, and then he was waiting he for him to him get with up. One, and then he hit him like two or three times was after it, yeah, the match. Okay. Well, no, I thought he hit him with a second one. To it's get possible. Kick. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. He, or maybe he hit it, and then he didn't go for the pin right yeah, away. Yeah, I think he yeah. wanted to assault Dolph some more. Um, he leaves the cage. Dolph starts getting back up. Goes, goes back in the cage. Didn't he grab a chair at that point? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then he beat the crap out of Ziggler. Um, and then he leaves. Or he got on the mic and just basically said, I'm through with you. Yeah. You know, Why did putting everybody else on up? notice, everything like that. You you did this to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then Dolph used the chair to sit up, and Drew saw it, and he had to go back there and do it again. So... That was that was that. Yep, yep, yep. What yep. was that? Uh, the Scottish psychopath. Yeah. So um, much like last week on SmackDown, where mm. Vince was trying to get AJ to bring out his true self. Yeah. Right. Whatever that was. Uh, it seemed like Triple H was trying to do that with Seth Rollins as well. Mm -hmm. um, I saw somebody bring this up. Could you see a possibility of AJ versus Rollins with the McVince backing? Uh, AJ and Triple H backing Rollins. 
get some more people, make this uh, WrestleMania 2000 all over again, the McMahons in all four corners, there, Shane with the Miz. <laughs> I heard some thoughts that there could be a McMahon in every corner type match, so it's possible. Now the question is, mm. who does Stephanie have? Just throw Ronda in there. I was. It's funny. I was thinking that because <laughs> Shane has the Miz. Ah, yeah. Um, and then who would be a good fourth? You got AJ. Be, you got Seth. I mean, as stupid as it would sound, I could see her bring up like Lars Sullivan or something. Oh. Like completely not ready, but just because they seem to be. Well, actually, they've kind of pulled back a little bit now since he's just kind of been thrown in with all the other. Uh, new faces. Oh yeah, because they made the it seem roster. like he was a big deal, right? For also, it's aggravating that they keep on playing the, the package. whole thing. Yeah. Um, I like the easy throw three part at the end. It doesn't matter. It's the whole thing over and over. I know. Again. I know. It's stupid. But I mean, to I mean, they're not really getting people familiar with him. But I guess if they see the faces, that they're like, oh, let me go check this person out in NXT. And then Maybe this way they get familiar with because I mean, I, I think that was part of the problem. Was that you were bringing these people in, and I guess your casual fan wasn't familiar with these people? That that wasn't a problem with Shinsuke. No. That wasn't a problem with Bobby Roode. Well, we already know the problem with those two. But that's the point, though. I guess. It has nothing to do with their popularity. Yeah, I they guess were it all is extremely all excited for them to come up. Fair enough. And they just completely ruined them. That's not the performer's fault. That's WWE's fault. Yeah. And that's pretty much been the problem with all the call-ups. It hasn't been. Oh no, I'm not playing. I'm not saying it's the people, but you know, yeah. I'm just saying maybe. I'm yeah. Getting the fans familiar with because them, but I guess I've not. never seen a call-up where people go, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> not really, at the very least. Yes. Everyone usually cheers. More or less, unless they don't like them. Well, but there really hasn't been that many. Could have been like this week's episode where we just messed with the audio. Wow. Well. <laughs> That's different. We know they've done it before. They used to do it with Roman all the time. It's true. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So back to our, or I guess what we're talking about with Triple H. Yeah. Trying to inspire Rollins because Rollins comes out says that he wants um the title shot or the title shot that he deserves right, or whatever right. from Dean and Triple H says oh you need to earn it blah right. blah blah. Well no we don't do that anymore here right. Well yeah yeah. Um, and then Rollins said, I'll go through anyone I have to to who gets in my way. Right, right. And then he mentions Brock Lesnar. Um, well, he said Dean first, right? And then he said Lesnar, and then he said you or yeah. your family. Mm-hmm. And then that's when Shane came out, right? Yeah. And said, well, I guess he kind of broke the two of them up a little bit. Yeah. Well, all, all Shane did was say that Dean's going to defend the title in the battle Tonight. after yeah. the Battle Royal. Right. I... <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this. That they kind of didn't, it kind of did it on SmackDown too, where somebody what? qualified for a match that happened that night. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just felt like they should have had the title match for next week on the live show. I guess I don't know. Uh-huh. The only thing I can think of is if they have a plan for Dean next week. I guess it's possible because I I don't know why on SmackDown they had that title qualifying match so for early. only one person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean so early since the Rumble's still like three weeks away? Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't understand mm. that quite much, but... Uh, Especially who won it. Well, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> I, I, I thought they, I, There was no way any of them. I thought running. they could have gone with Ray, but I guess maybe mm. I could see that being a Mania match. Maybe. Uh, certainly not now with the way that Vince was acting with AJ. All right, all right. Well, let's get through Raw and yeah. then we'll talk about SmackDown. Um, anyway. Yep. So I don't like the fact that they had Rollins still focus on Dean. I kind of oh that yeah they no would it, pass over right, him. Right, yeah, there was no need for that. Or if Triple H told them that you're not allowed to go for the icy title anymore. Well, I mean he kind doesn't of need it. He wasn't in the battle royal, so well, it doesn't mean anything. I guess because Triple H put him in a match. So like he wasn't. Yeah, but it was in, just to prove himself, right? Yeah, yeah. But he wasn't not in the battle royal because he didn't want to be. It's because he was already in a match. I guess that's true. That was their that was their uh, I guess logic or whatever. Anyway, um, I think that he should have completely foregoed the part about Dean and the whole thing. Oh yeah, and should have just stuck with Lesnar. Yeah, 
and make it that he clearly wants to have Adam, unless they don't plan on having Lesnar keep the belt. But Well, I mean, that's one of the things, too. If this is truly, you know, them shaking up things and changing things, you know, get the title off Lesnar. It's true. Don't. Or at least make it believable that somebody's actually going to take him down at Mania. Don't keep doing this with Braun where you build him up to take the beast down and, and then, then he loses. Don't. Although I it while I don't like that they d- what they did, the fact that they made Baron Corbin the reason why Braun lost at um Oh, that Crangel, was yeah, that was fine cuz then it the, built up to the next. It was the yeah, smart yeah, thing yeah, yeah, to yeah. do. No, absolutely. Um cuz you don't let Braun lose his credibility, which is big. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, I, I I like the idea of having Rollins face Lesnar at Mania. That's mm-hmm. fine. Um, and then have Roman come in and cash in money. Here we go again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Here we go. Money in the bank's already been cashed in by Braun. Yeah. Except it's true. he didn't get it. He did not. It's so dumb. But she, it was so bad. Yeah. Anyway, so oh, we have this God. battle royal next. It had. Uh, it was the job squad, basically, and Finn yeah. Balor. Yeah, it was all the tag teams, or a bunch of the tag mm-hmm. teams. Zack Ryder, who <laughs> finally made his Raw debut of 2018. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Mojo is in uh, it. This guy's on the internet. We'll shut him up. Just put him in the Battle Royal. Yeah. Um, Corbin. Oh, yeah, because yeah, Rollins said that he makes stars out of everybody in his matches. Including. Even Mojo freaking Raleigh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But the battle royal is going on. Uh, Kurt Hawkins is in it too. Kurt, yeah, Kurt Hawkins ends up being in the final four, mm-hmm. and Corey Graves goes, "Is this like horse racing? Can I bet on him to show?" You know what would have been, <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been actually funny. What is if you have like Cruz and Corbin eliminate themselves, and Hawkins just won by default, but he didn't technically win. That doesn't change anything. I know, I know, but it would have just been funny. That that yeah. would have been his first win when he didn't actually win. Yeah, I guess so. Um, but yeah, uh, Paul Cruz ends up winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They eliminated eight people, mm-hmm. mostly uh, which are were jobbers. The Ascension yeah. and V Team and yeah. so. people like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so not obviously that impressive, but they did push him pretty hard in this match. Hey, you know. He's deserved at least some sort of. Well, he's very showing. talented. Yeah, he's good in the ring. Yeah, his Which... interview after the battle royal wasn't bad. Mm-mm. He seemed very excited. It seemed like the fans were into him. From what we could tell, it's always a little because you could see. I don't know if it was just certain fans, but I noticed on both Raw and SmackDown when the crowd was getting chants going for like Seth. I think it was the burn it down. It was just like so off sync. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it was just people not being good at chanting uh it's possible yeah because i forget what they did. oh i think maybe it was during cena on smackdown i don't remember what it was on smackdown but it was the same thing mm-hmm. but i don't know always oh, rusev day that's what yeah it was, it was. and yeah. that was bad yeah yeah mm-hmm. i don't think that had anything to do with the it being out of sync I it think was just it was the people just, yeah yeah so um yeah and then up next and Natalia gets interviewed. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of the tag teams, I don't think this was... I don't know, since we both watched the Hulu version. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess next week it's going to be the revival against the uh, Gable oh, and yeah, Rude. They, they announced that at the end of the show. I oh, think. is that when it came? That's when they showed a, a graphic I guess, for Yeah, it. because I guess the legal man or the wrong man was pinned last week. Uh, the illegal man. I think sure. that's what it was. So that's their reason for getting a rematch. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Natalia gets jumped by Nia and Tamina, and uh, I guess that sets up uh, a match. Sets, tag- our, sets up our main event for the evening. Yeah, the tag team between Natalia and Ronda versus Nia and Tamina. Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, nah, I guess we'll just continue and go. I'll talk about it when we get to the main event. Okay. Yep. Um, Rollins vs. Lashley. I did not watch it. Um, it was, it wasn't bad. Yeah. There was a lot of Leo Rush involvement. Mm-hmm. I saw the curb stomp on Leo Rush. That yeah. was, that was really it. Um, but yeah, Rollins got tired of, uh, Leo getting involved, so he just grabs a chair and starts beating up Lashley and Leo. So he it. got the huge, yes. I'm guessing. So, which is fine. Well, yeah. Doesn't really matter. No. Rollins didn't need to win. He needed to show intensity. Mm-hmm. That was the whole point of the match. Yep. And that he did. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, so that that's just gonna be a stepping stone, I guess. Yeah. Um, 
Unless it's just going to be another Elias. Oh, are they just feuding? Have them, have them just, face to Lashley until the Rumble. I guess. This is what Eli- uh, Lashley's feuds have been. Mm. Just have him, same match, over and over again. Nothing different. No. Yeah. No. Was Eli- Elias wasn't on the show, or was he on the show? Uh, We didn't see him. I don't, yeah. That's all, all I know. Right. Fair enough. Um, then we got Dean versus Apollo Crews. Mm-hmm. Crews actually looked really good in this match. And Dean barely won by... Uh, I guess dodging a frog splash. Yep. And it's then, dirty deeds. Yep. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Don't kick out of that move. It's true. Not often, anyway. So Dean is still Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. I don't think anyone expected him to lose the title. Do so you think we're ever going to see Bray again? Yes. He's come back in the Rumble. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I guess that makes the most sense. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. You think we'll get... Uh, well, we don't know how close... Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens are because they did hype them up recently. I think right? they're closer than we th- originally thought. Yeah, because they wouldn't they, have done that. Yeah, they, I think they originally said Mania for Owens, but I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. See that? I, I the think they too. both could come back. Yeah, then. they're they're going to be huge for Raw. They were definitely uh, <laughs> missed. <laughs> That's the only you don't say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was your whole. Mid to up, mid upper card, um, and they were ruining Sami Zayn and him at the pro in the process. Yeah, they were stuck with uh, Lashley and Jinder, right? Yeah. No, um, Braun. Both. Oh, right, Braun. Yeah, with Owens. Yep. So uh, that's right. They'll come back. Hopefully, be revitalized. That would be good for everybody. Um, I mean, it's really simple. I mean, when Roman had the belt, we were all like, "All right, things are going to change on Raw." Now we're back to the same old, same old. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Nothing. Nope. Until they take the belt off Brock. Exactly. And if they really want to change things, that's going to be at least a start. That's true. Uh, okay. We got an Italian Ronda versus Nia and Tamina. It, um, it wasn't terrible, terrible. I, it wasn't good. I wasn't really watching it. I much. wasn't either because... Didn't care. It... You know, you know, Tamina was gonna tap out to the armbar. Why watch it? Oh yeah, and that's exactly what happened. Yep. Um, so do you think we... Ronda's gonna defend the title at the Rumble? Yeah, why not? Have her face Nia again, and not have Nia why? in the Rumble. I guess so. It's an easy out for not not letting her. You know what I mean? Because she she's kind of in the Rumble last year. Yeah. Right? Who'd she get eliminated by? Probably multiple people. Yeah, I guess so. I don't remember for sure. Maybe Asuka. Mm. Maybe uh, maybe the Bellas. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Um, she still got a shot at WrestleMania. Yeah. Maybe Michelle uh, McCool. Yeah. It's possible. It she is possible. a few people. Yeah, she did. Hopefully she comes back for this WrestleMania. Probably. Uh, Rumble. WrestleMania Rumble. Yeah. Well, they still don't have 30 women, so. Yeah. Well, she was, the, like, probably the best returning one. Yeah, she had a good... Uh, Good outing. Yeah. Same thing with that evolution. Mm-hmm. So. Yes, yes. Mrs. Undertaker, please come back. <laughs> All right. Smackdown. On to SmackDown. So, we got Biggie doing Scott Steiner math. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't as good, but yeah, well, they yeah. at least attempted. Nobody did, can replicate the original. Which is funny, because I think Steiner, like... Hates, well, I know he hates Triple H. Well, I was going to say, I think he hates everything WWE. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Maybe he'll go on a crazy rant on Twitter. Probably. If he's even watching. Probably not. Probably not. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised. He hates it so much, but he watches it, like, religiously. It's funny how that's that's like the wrestling world in a nutshell. Yeah, everyone's yep. petty. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's kind of silly. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's like the people that bitch and complain about impact that i watch online yet they know everything that's going on and it's like why, why do you know this stuff if you're just sure. shitting on the product you're it's obviously true. paying attention it's true. like and even <laughs> every every wrestling fan does it they just go into every every place every nook and cranny they can and create havoc for some unknown reason because this is important uh, apparently life changing uh, yeah i have to let my my thoughts be known. Everyone needs to know what I think. Yep, exactly. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, I don't really quite know the gist of what the New Day were going on about. Uh, they 
I don't know. I think their New Year's resolution, they were told that they, it has to be that they can't eat pancakes anymore. Yeah. Because I, I turned the show on, and they were shoving pancakes down their throats. Well, Biggie pulled pancakes out of his diaper. That I did know. Yes. Yeah. I, th- I believe they that's what they were told they had to... That was their New Year's resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, that, that there was really no point in this, I don't believe. I think they were also kind of pushing their New Year's revol- resolution show that they've had after SmackDown was on the network. Oh. Yeah, I saw a graphic about oh. it. Yeah. Sure. I didn't actually watch Mm-mm. it, so... I watched a little of the <laughs> Miz and Mrs. after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was on after the show. It was a weird time to have a uh, New Year's Day marathon. Why, after the show that they play every week? Well, no, oh, no, it was just that it was at 10 p.m. when yeah. New Year's Day is basically I, I guess over. So. <laughs> but, I, and I guess so. It was just a weird time slot. That was it. I guess. Yep. Um, all right, so after that, we have uh, Jeff Hardy versus Samoa Joe for a spot in the Fatal Five Way. Yeah, we were told earlier in the evening. Uh, the I was other... going to say that must have been the opening. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was going to be, what, AJ... Ollie, Ray, Ray and, and Orton. Orton. Yeah. Versus and one then, of these two. Yep. And then the winner was going to face Daniel Bryan at the Rumble, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Joe wins. Hardy passes out to the Cobra Clutch. He won. He won a match. It uh, wasn't on a paper. Not an important though. match. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Which really doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> he, in the he, other he, match. He can't. It's literally <laughs> impossible for him, hit, for him to, lo- to win every time or lose every time. <sighs> But when it counts, that's when he loses. That's it. <laughs> I just have Joe lose. That's easy. Yeah, that was my whole point. That's true. Um, oh, AJ goes boy. into Vince's office and asks if he's sure he wants to see the real AJ. Mm-hmm. Vince says yes. Shane is there. He says, are you sure you want that? Or you be careful what you wish for? Because AJ and Shane did have a match at WrestleMania last year. Or 2017. Two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Had to be 17. 33. I'm right. assuming. Because right, 16 was uh, Jericho. His debut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. At least it was, you know, it worked with Shane there. It's true. It made sense. Yeah. AJ it has a little bit of a fire and mm-hmm. everything, so that's good. It's it. I mean, it makes the most sense. Like we've said, he's held he held the title for over a year, right? Mm-hmm. And there was really nothing to show for his reign. I mean, he had... Mm. He had bad he, feuds. Yeah, and I mean every match was stellar because it was an AJ Styles match, but it was there was no no takeaway from yeah, it. Yeah, the stories weren't good. Yeah, and, and that's a shame because you know AJ is arguably one of the best wrestlers, and his matches his, with John Cena were great. They, oh yeah, but you remember? Those. Yeah, yeah, because they were there was like you right. know story and feeling behind them. Right. Not AJ's fault that the other ones didn't. It was no. the writing. No, yeah, exactly. So, well, the whole AJ Shinsuke thing being a dream match didn't really help. No, because it overhyped it. Right, exactly. Kind of, kind of, and then they just continued it after it didn't deliver, and mm-hmm. it was like, mm. yeah, it's funny that their third match ended up being really the only passable yeah. one. Yep, <laughs> pretty much. So, but whatever. Pretty much. Um, we got Rusev being interviewed about his U.S. title win. Um. I don't know. Rusev as a face wasn't that. It, it wasn't that great. I'm okay with it. I, don't I didn't. I, I don't know. It just didn't seem. He didn't seem confident like he normally is. Like I don't know. It just seemed like it was kind of. He was just words were coming out of his mouth. Oh, a little bit. But yeah. that's kind of how he talks anyway. I guess. But I mean, you have Lana with him at least. No, nah, he's he's fine on his own. All right. I, I, he he likes. He says weird things. All the time. Yeah. Well, I so guess he's like that in the Total of, Divas yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's part of his yeah. thing. I guess so that's true. The fact that he kind of just, like, rambles incoherently is kind of just part of the charm, mm-hmm. I guess. So. All right. That's fair. Yeah. That, that's my opinion of the whole thing. I didn't take anything bad away from yeah. the way it went. All right. Well, I liked how it ended. They did a good job here. Yeah. Shinsuke attacks him from behind. And then Lana goes, jumps on Shinsuke's back. Uh, Rusev hits Shinsuke with a Machka kick. Shinsuke goes down on top of Lana. And then Rusev's like, what do I do? And he went to 10 to Lana, and then Shinsuke hit him with a Kinshasa. Yep. So, that was continuing a, the feud. A little surprising. Yeah. yeah I wasn't they, expecting them to have Lana. Lana be a bias. No, yeah. Not, yeah, I guess. Well, that's that's kind of. Yeah. She was in, actively involved. Right, right, right. Still. 
Um, so I'd assume they'll probably have a match at the Rumble, mm-hmm. which is fine. They put on a decent match last week. They gave it a lot of time, so yeah. I got nothing bad to say. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully at some point Shinsuke will become, you know, likable again. Again. It's, Tolerable, it's maybe. nothing to do with him. It was just the shit they put him through. Oh, it's not his fault. Oh, I know, but. His character's not good anymore, though. But they, they haven't done anything with his character. Yeah, he's he did, boring. He did, what, two title defenses? There's probably more than that, but it certainly didn't feel like it. It didn't feel like it. So. Yep. All right, so I don't know how you feel about this, but I've actually enjoyed the whole Naomi and Mandy Rose thing. It makes no sense, but it's not bad. I loved last week when Naomi threw the shoe at Yeah, like, <laughs> it's it hilarious. Out, it literally well, came out of Well, they were having nowhere. a Twitter feud. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something was going on between the two of them on Twitter. Because the thing that happened on SmackDown last week literally came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It or at least was... as far as I knew, it yeah. came out of nowhere. Yeah. So I had no problem with it. Nah, I liked what they did this I, week. Yeah, and we're creating lower level feuds that you need. What do you mean it's not just the champion and two other people? No, it's not like Raw and then we're just going to throw everybody else against the Riot Squad like yeah. they did this week. Uh, well, that's what they always do. I know, but I'm just saying we're not relying on that. Yeah. Um, Which is funny because we got the announcement, what, last week that the women's tag team titles were going to be a thing mm-hmm. and I guess we're just going to keep pushing little by little and then I eventually guess. announce something yeah i, I would gonna, assume it'll be some sort of tournament yeah it's probably going to culminate at wrestlemania that would be my guess yeah probably because why not yeah so we have a raw women's match a smackdown women's match and then the tag title match yeah which I, is i don't know how they're I, gonna yeah it's a good question is it well i think i would assume they'll have them on each brand mm, i was gonna say since it seems like um like with McMahon's being everywhere, mm. that they might have it so that the tag team division's on both shows. Just because it seems like everything's more relaxed anyway. Yeah, but, I mean, there was talk of... I mean, I know we're still eight, month, nine, eight months, nine months away from uh-huh. October, or ten months technically, um, that they want Raw and SmackDown to be completely separate. That's unless true. Unless they eventually just say, all right, we're going to do tag championships i think that's what uh fox wants right right, necessarily wwe oh the money they threw at them they're pretty much no well you know what i mean oh yeah yeah no no no, yeah so um it's possible that maybe they'll start it that way and Mm -hmm. then the problem is the division's too light well yeah oh yeah absolutely but it's funny here like you now have naomi basically in (coughs) i mean she's in the feud with mandy rose Mm -hmm. but you have sonia deville and now she doesn't have a tag partner to combat the second person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when it was originally what Oscar against the two of them, right? Yeah, yeah, that's just weird. Just well, weird. you could you could throw anybody in there. Yeah, but I guess this makes more sense with the heels, with you know strength and numbers, mm-hmm. so to speak. So I guess that just makes more sense doing yeah. it that way. And at the same time, you can believe me, and, uh, Naomi is competent enough to, to take, take on both, both of them yeah, anyway. Absolutely. So, but yeah, this was announced as Naomi versus Mandy Rose. Mm-hmm. Naomi gets in the ring. Mandy slips out of the ring, and Sonya Deville gets in the ring, and all of a sudden the she bell gets rings. yeah the bell rings. So now Naomi's facing Sonya Deville, mm-hmm. and throughout the match, Mandy constantly gets involved. And toward the end, she grabs a microphone and says, "You know, I sent your husband a uh, a DM." And then uh, we see a picture of her in a towel, and that was what she had uh, sent her mm-hmm. husband. Or was it Jimmy? Jay. 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 I think. Yes, Jay. So yeah, it was good. It was yeah. a very old school thing to yeah. do. And then Sonya gets the win out of it. Yeah. Another win that she won over Charlotte recently too, right? I. Th- it sounds right. Yeah, I think so. So. And, you know, when it benefits someone who needs wins, I'm all for them doing stuff like this. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not like a throw. Well, it is a throwaway mm-hmm. match, but it's, it's, you know, it's the little things that add up. Exactly. And you need to build up more It makes women. Mrs. SmackDown a little more credible. Yeah. Because she's got the SD on her. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah. coming this... up on the best segment of 2019. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well. And to be fair, this might actually hold up for quite some time. Might be. So we have John Cena coming out because uh, he had been announced that he was going to be on SmackDown yep. on New Year's I, Day. I think he was announced to be at Raw as well. 
and I think he was. It was announced he was coming back to Raw. Is that what it was? And but he would be on the New Year's Day edition okay. of SmackDown. It was announced last week, right? Yes. Yeah. And he's going to be on Raw right next week. Next mm-hmm. week. So he comes out and he's like, "Why am I here?" <laughs> and then he's asking the crowds, "Like, do you guys know why I'm here?" And then he says, "I'm waiting for the next superstar to come out here and give me a reason well, to be here." At first, he, I think he said, "I'm waiting for a man to come out here and oh, challenge he did me." Say I, that? Yeah, I believe he said that. And then he's ch- said what you had said. Yeah. So Becky Lynch comes out. Yep. Oh, and his face was priceless too. Yeah. It, it, was, it was hilarious. So she comes out all cocky and stuff, mm-hmm. and she's like, "I bet you were waiting for a man to come out." Well, you got the man. Yeah. So it was good. Their it back was. and forth was great. Yep. Um, it really felt like Becky Lynch was like comfortable and she, confident. She's and, just so happy in the role. You can just see she. she yeah, exa- she's just yeah, she's just feeling it. Mm-hmm. And she's so proud of it. Everything. Yeah, and she which... she felt like she belonged there, mm-hmm. and sh- she's right. No, there's yeah. no reason for her not to. Because she said she wanted to take a uh, Cena spot on the marquee. Because mm-hmm. she's like, everyone thought I was just aiming for Charlotte right. and and Ronda Rousey. But it's like, no, I want your spot. Yeah. So John Cena's like, all right. Mm-hmm. And then <clears throat> Selena Vega and Almas come out. She th- This was really, really good. Uh, yeah. I mean, Selena is fantastic on the microphone. But she, you know really made you believe everything she was saying. Mm-hmm. Like, she just so confident in everything else. Yeah. Because she says that Almas is the future right. and he's the past and stuff. Yeah, which, I mean, it was fine the way they booked it, but Almas needs some wins under his belt. It's true. He's just getting his but ass kicked. There was no way he did. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. No way in hell. So, um, but, but yeah, she introduces them, and then John Cena retorts with... <laughs> My name is John Cena. You might know me from being John Cena. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Um, so they have a match at Cena and Becky versus Almas and Vega, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cena was showing his ring rust. A little bit, but still. <laughs> it was just it was just moving a little slow. He did that his six it. moves of doom. Is, is it up to six now? Yeah. Well, he, it's, is he's it the got sixth the... move? I thought it was the fifth move, but yeah, no, you're the, right. This the, is the, five, the fifth move is the five knock. Uh, right. Is it the AA? AA, and then the sixth move is that fucking punch or <laughs> Thunder whatever. Thunder punch yeah, or something like that. That's what it was. Thunder <laughs> Almost fist. goes flying out of the ring. At yeah. this point, Becky's in the ring. She was just watching him do everything. Yeah. And she just pushes John through the ropes. Zelina goes to roll Becky up. She reverses it into a disarmor, and Zelina taps out. Yep. It was a nice reversal, too. It looked very clean the, yeah. and smooth, mm-hmm. the transition. So that, everything about that yeah, segment was great. It was great. good. After the match, John Cena goes to shake Becky's hand. She goes, no. <laughs> and then he's like, you got me. Yeah. So he did a really good job putting her over mm-hmm. because, you know, it wasn't, there was no, like, showing her up at any point. Oh, no, 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 He no. kind of just, just let her. Just let her have her mm-hmm. moment spot. So it was good. Things like that. But <laughs> Very yeah, good. Yeah, and good to see Cena back, as usual, even mm-hmm. with his hair. Yeah, it's strange. It's so weird. It, it, it's, it'll take some getting used to, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he just shaves it the next time he comes out. Yeah. Like on Raw, he'll have just no hair. Completely again. bald. No, not completely bald. It's shaved the crew in the cut. background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we got The Miz pitching some creative outfit designs to Shane. Oh, they were hilarious. Why was Shane wearing <laughs> shorts and all of them? I don't know. Well, because I guess they utilized him in trunks and then just put the overlay as all of Miz's costumes. Yeah, because Shane always wears sweatpants to the <laughs> ring. <laughs> and then they get down to the matching trunks and everything, and Shane's still got his Jordans on, and he's like, who is that, Goldberg's body? <laughs> yeah, it was. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane just leaves the room as Miz continues to talk. It was funny. Yeah. I mean, I, I still hate the fact that you know they're going to have a match. Yeah, you're wasting the Miz on Shane. Yeah. But it, the Miz is still being himself. Mm. It's not like he's being dumbed down yeah. for the purpose of no, being no, with it's, Shane. It's so. on, it, honestly, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's you know, he's using the character work. Right. And at the same time, 
it's not like Miz is in a big feud with somebody and he's taking up ring no, time. It wasn't doing anything. It's just backstage stuff. So I mean, honestly, I'd rather Miz do stuff like this than, rather than seeing him wrestle, you know, Shelton Benjamin or someone else. Oh, for the instead, 80, of wasting, yeah, instead of wasting time or Rey time. Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, which uh, it seems like they're gonna do something with Shelton and uh, Mustafa Ali. After last week's interaction, I feel like we're going to get something between the two of them. It's possible. Shelton was on TV again. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of. Yeah. I they forget. were doing the New Year's resolution That's right, right, stuff. Right. And he's, I want to be on SmackDown. <laughs> pretty That's much. resolution. Yeah. He, like, ripped the set, the set down and popped a balloon. Had to ruin everything. So weird. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, also, there was an interaction with between uh, Carmella, Charlotte... And Becky. Oh, right, yeah. Over. Who's going to... Because who's there? Triple H with Asuka. And yeah. said, who who do you want to face next for the champion? Yeah, she said no nobody's one's ready. ready. And then every woman decided to come in and plead their case. And mm-hmm. then Triple H just said, all right, I'm out. Yeah. I'll work this amount of amongst they'll yourselves. Take, they'll take, he'll take it under advice. That's advisement. right, yes. So we got nothing out of it. Um, I think that whoever faces... Or I should say, if if Charlotte or Becky face Asuka at the Royal Rumble, mm. the other one's probably going to win the Rumble. It's possible. That would make the most sense to me. Yeah. Um, even if they don't win the title at the time. Because there's a very good chance yeah. Asuka can go and wrestle. Yeah, because last year, neither title was defended, right? I don't think so. Because what, Charlotte and, Charlotte and Alexa Bliss. Yeah, Alexa watched the right. Rumble mm-hmm. at ringside. So it would stand yeah. to make sense that they didn't have matches. I think they couldn't afford to have matches. Probably not, no. Because <laughs> you had that universal triple threat match, that handicap AJ versus... Well, what I meant was they didn't have enough women... To, oh, oh, okay, I gotcha. ...to afford to lose two, two more. One. Right, right, right. So... Fair enough. Um, Fair enough. But moving on to the main events of SmackDown. Yep. Fatal Five-Way between mm-hmm. Joe, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio... Um, Mustafa Ali, Mustafa and, AJ Ali and AJ Styles, yes. Yeah, and their fatal five ways always. Yeah, oh, yeah, deliver. it was it, it was, was entertaining. It was a lot of there fun. was a lot of stuff going on. AJ onto the uh, table, nothing removed, landed right on the monitor. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. Joe was laughing at him, mm-hmm. and Orton was kind of laughing at him too. Yeah, and then Joe and Orton locked, it, you know, looked at each other, thought something was going to happen, and then Mustafa Ali comes flying out of Joe, and then. Mysterio Ray sits hits on Orton's face. Orton. <laughs> Very strange. Yeah. But no, they hit some really good sequences here. Mm. Um, finish of the match was good. It was Ray hitting everybody with 619s, right? At the end, yeah. yeah. And then I forget. What did Joe... He was choking out Ali, right? And then Orton broke it up? I don't think so. That doesn't no. sound right. I know Orton. Joe was choking someone out, yeah. and it got broken up. Ali yeah. got hit with a RKO. Yes. And then what did Orton get taken out? And AJ came in, and hit the 450 on. Yeah, because Ali. Ali. No, Orton got pinned. He got pinned. Okay. Yeah. So I think I think Orton hit the RKO on Ali. And then Ray hit this. It, Ray must have knocked out Orton mm-hmm. with. Uh, with something. Yeah, but then... And then happened? Ray probably got taken out of the ring by Joe. Yeah. And then that's when... AJ just... Because I know that Orton got pinned. He did, yeah. Okay, so, so it's the 450 yeah. from AJ. So we're probably thinking back too far. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of spots. Yeah, where it was very one. quick. Yeah. So anyway, AJ wins with the 450 splash on Orton. Yep. Um, There was actually a point where it, it seemed like there was a chance that Ali was going to win. they really been pushing him quite hard. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't think that for a pay per view that would be. I thought it would be fine. Yeah, I don't know if it's the time yet. I don't know. It gets it gets AJ in the Rumble. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, to be fair, he could still technically be in the Rumble. He could. They, he won't. They've be, done it before. But he could be. That's true. Um, like when Reigns lost to Owens and then <laughs> it's in the Rumble. Yeah, that's true. And everyone was upset about it because mm-hmm. it was the wrong <laughs> Joe. <laughs> it was still a Samoan named Joe. Yep. Um, yeah, so AJ versus Daniel Bryan again at the Rumble. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm okay with it. Just the two of them have put on very good matches. Their match at TLC was very good. Mm-hmm. I don't think that AJ's going to win, but... No, but I mean, 
Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Daniel Bryan has some decent momentum. Yeah, I kind of just hope that... It was weird. We didn't see him at all on the show. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. Um, but my hope is that uh, that Daniel Bryan has like a, like a different opponent for WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, it shouldn't be AJ no. at all. No, no, no. Um, But at the same time, I think that... I don't think the Rumble winner is going to come from <coughs> SmackDown. No, probably not. So... Especially because it has the last mm-hmm. two years. Oh, yeah, that's um, right. If uh, not longer. Yeah. I mean, there was rumors of Orton versus AJ at Mania. Oh, just as a match? As a match, yeah. It's possible. It would be fine. It would make sense. Mm-hmm. Orton's probably... Well, Orton's kind of done with Ray. Right. I mean, I would assume the favorites for the Rumble are Rollins and McIntyre. Yeah, they make the most sense. Uh, Rollins, if... Lesnar is the champion. Yeah, that's what it really plays the factor there. Who's who the wins champion? the Universal Championship match? Yeah, and that that'll probably go on before the actual Rumble. Yeah, because I don't think the Women's Rumble is going to be an event this year. No, no, you, they just did it because it was the first time. Yeah. Everything. Well, that and Ronda Rousey. Yes, that had a that's lot true. to do with it. That too. is very true. Mm-hmm. So, because you couldn't have her just come out in the middle of the show for no reason. That'd be stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that was uh. Our uh, weekend review. Yeah, that that was that. Mm-hmm. Any anything else to say? Do we have anything to look forward to next week? Um, we got John Cena on Raw. There you go. Brock Lesnar will be at. Oh yes, Raw. he will. They... So will Braun Strowman. Yeah. Um, I would like to think that I, I would like to see John Cena interact with Brock because there's nothing else I would like him to see. Or like to see him do. Yeah, he's got I mean, nothing. nothing really else. There's nothing. The only thing he yeah. could possibly do is call out like McIntyre. Mm. <clears throat> the only one at the level where Cena actually feels like he's being used yeah. efficiently. Because <clears throat> if he goes out, and f- so we've seen him do stuff with Braun before. We've seen him with Elias before. Yeah, if he does something with, with Lashley, Seth. no one's gonna care. Uh. So. I think McIntyre is the only one yeah. that I would like him to see interact with besides yeah. Brock. Yeah, because I'd like, would I, I wouldn't mind seeing him have him come out like if because Brock's going to be there, so he'll come out with Heyman. Braun comes out, and then Cena comes out and gets thrown into the match. Yeah, and then That's you possible. go you go into WrestleMania with Cena as champion, and the dynamic mm-hmm. changes drastically. Oh yeah. Um, because then you could very easily have McIntyre face Cena at the at WrestleMania, and that'd true. be a good match. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you would think he's gonna win his seventeenth title, right? He's going to. It's a matter of when. Yeah. And I think that there's a lot of there. There's gonna be a lot of easy opportunities for him to do so. Mm. And I think that they're probably gonna have him win the Universal Championship at least once. Right. So, now would be a good time. Well, hey, like I said, they got to start with just taking it off Brock, and then we can go from there. Yeah, also, funny enough, I could have swore I heard that he said in an interview not too long ago that he was coming back, but he wasn't doing any TVs. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had read as well. He was just doing house shows, Mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden... Because he was filling in for Braun. I guess. That was, I think, what the big thing was. Because I know he was supposed to be doing the the house shows around here over Christmas, and he... All of a sudden, they decided, I guess, the, probably having to do with the ratings, um, that he was going to be on TV again. Because they kind of made it seem like he's going to have a stretch, mm. at the very least. So, Something. Whatever. Yep. This whatever. Is what it is. So it's good, uh, to, good to see him. Yeah. Um, that was our podcast. Mm-hmm. That's it. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.